Lee, how you doing? This is Michelle. I just want to know, was there any character when you were drawing it that you said to yourself, this will make me stand the man? <laughs> Maybe Spider-Man. Yeah! Oh, let me tell you what happened with Spider-Man. Um, because I gotta tell you something. I'm sitting up here, I have to say something. Um, when I got the I, I had done the Fantastic Four and I think the Hulk or the X-Men, I can't remember the order. But at one point, my publisher said to me, hey Stan, why don't you dream up another superhero because they're selling pretty well. Well, when he said that, it meant dream up another one or you're fired. So I went home and I started thinking, and I saw a fly on the wall. And you know, one of the big things with superheroes is figuring out what superpower do you give them. And I already had a guy who could burst into flame and fly, that was the Hulk, who was strong and so forth. I was thinking, what new superpower is there? And when I saw the fly on the wall, I thought, wow, what if I had a hero who could stick to walls and ceilings like an insect. Well, then I needed a name. So I thought, Insect Man? Nah. Mosquito Man? Nah. And I went down the list, and then I got to Spider Man. And it just sounded dramatic. Spider Man. <laughs> then I thought I would make him a teenager to make him different, because there were no teenage superheroes. And then I thought to make them even more different, I'd give them a lot of personal problems. Because I didn't know of any superhero who had personal problems. So I went running into the publisher. I was so excited, and I told him my idea. And he said to me, and you may make notes if you wish, he said to me, Stan, that is the dumbest idea I have ever heard. He said, first of all, and this is why you, you shouldn't always listen to the experts. He said, first of all, people hate spiders. So you can't call a hero Spider-Man. He said, and you want him to be a teenager? Don't you understand teenagers can only be sidekicks? And you want him to have personal problems? Stan, he's supposed to be a, a superhero. They don't have personal problems. So I left the office with my head between my legs. I was beaten. But then we had a magazine we were gonna drop called Amazing Fantasy. Now when you're gonna drop a magazine, nobody cares what you put in the last issue because you're dropping it anyway. So just to get it out of my system, I put Spider-Man in that issue and I featured him on the cover. Well, a month later, the sales figures came in, and my publisher came running into my office, office, it was a little cubicle like a closet, <laughs> came running into my office and he said, Stan, do you remember that Spider-Man character you made up that both of us liked so much? <laughs> he said, let's do it as a series. And that's how Spider-Man was born. Woo!